of suffragists left the National Women's Party headquarters located at Cameron House on the eastern side of the square to promote their cause. The suffragists became the first people to ticket the White House. Many suffragists were fined and imprisoned for their actions. Women finally gained the right to vote with the ratification and certification of the 19th Amendment on August 26, 1920. Ever since, people have gathered in Lafayette Park to demonstrate and raise awareness for their cause. At the top left end of the photo is a photograph of a group of women and children demonstrating to the release of the prisoners in 1922. A group of demonstrators had signs that read, Democracy and political prisoners don't win. Shall justice die? We are innocent victims. We are wives and children of political prisoners. And four years since I saw my daddy. The White House is seen in the background of the photograph. Another photograph in the top center of the panel shows African American demonstrators near the White House in 1965. The demonstrators hold signs that read, We demand the right to vote everywhere. There are also signs protesting police brutality against civil rights demonstrators in Selma, Alabama. At the top right end of the panel, is a photograph of Vietnam War demonstrators outside the White House in the summer of 1966. A banner reads, We mourn our soldiers. They are dying in vain. Only Americans can stop it. In the bottom right of the panel is a photograph of demonstrators protesting police brutality following the death of George Floyd in 2020. The foreground features demonstrators with their hands in the air. The White House is visible in the background of the photograph. The top of the Washington Monument is illuminated behind the White House. Visible beyond the panel is the bronze statue of President Andrew Jackson on horseback, cast by artist Clark Mills and dedicated in 1853 in the center of Lafayette Park. Past the statue is the north facade of the White House. Visible are the north grounds, north portico, an American flag flying on the top of the White House. There are two more panels directly to the left of this one. In the center of this panel is a Peter Rabel painting depicting Lafayette Square as it appeared in 1902, facing south. The aerial view includes St. John's Church, Decatur House, Lafayette Park, and the White House. On the left end of the panel is a photograph of First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. The caption reads, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy used a model of Lafayette Square with architect John Carl Warnicke, 1962. The text along the bottom of the panel reads, In 1961, First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy created the White House Fine Arts Committee and the White House Historical Association to restore the White House and preserve its collection of historic furniture, decorative arts, and objects. The following year, she intervened after learning that the historic homes of Lafayette Square were scheduled for demolition. She worked with architect John Carl Warnicke to design a square that preserved the 19th century buildings and historical character of the park, while also making room for modern office buildings. In 1970, Lafayette Square Historic District was placed in the National Register of Historic Places. Lafayette Square still features historic buildings such as St. John's Church, Decatur House, the Cuts Madison House, and Blair House, as well as five commemorative statues. At the center of the park stands a statue depicting President Andrew Jackson